Welcome to the Time in the Word broadcast right here from Jackson First Baptist Church. We're speaking in this month about overcoming the negative pressures of life. Here's an example. Have you ever owed a debt that you could not pay? If so, you grasp how deflating it is when the bill collector calls or you get the email stating that your debt is due. Even worse, it's when you and I sin against someone and then we realize there's nothing that we can do to make it right. There's pressure there. When that happens, usually friendships end and sadly many marriages end when a debt is owed that cannot be paid. Now in our current series, we are discovering from God how to overcome the negative pressures of life. I can tell you that one of the hardest pressures in life comes when we owe a debt caused by sin that we cannot pay. This day, though, in our Time in the Word broadcast, I have great news for you. There is a God in heaven who has the answer for your sin and mine. Listen carefully as I read Psalm 103 and 10. Here's what it says. For God does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquity. This verse is so amazing. It is true that our sin is real. It is also true that we cannot blame our sin on others. Finally, it is true that Jesus came to pay the debt we could never pay. Why? Because of His payment, God is able to deal with my sin and yours in a way we cannot. God is able to pay the debt to His Father, and He's able to forgive the offender because there's no more debt when we repent and turn from our sins. The priest of God in the Old Testament, Ezra, wrote the following in Ezra 9 and 13. God punishes us less than our iniquities deserve. Fred, I don't know about you, but I want to tell you this. If there was no way to pay the debt for our sins, I would be living my life with all kinds of pressure because my sin would be piling up over the years. But when we come to the cross, friend, I've got great news. It is all white clean. On this weekend before Thanksgiving, you and I have so much to be thankful for. Our God deals with us in forgiveness and love. I'm praying that you will come to the Lord Jesus Christ. And if not already come to the Lord, do it now. But I'm also praying this, that you would give us the opportunity to share with you more about His forgiveness. So today, I'm, just, I'm brief today, but I want to say this to you. Reach out to us at info at jacksonfbc.com and simply say this as you send the email to us. Help me overcome this thing called sin. And I want to promise you this, we'll share with you faithfully from God's Word how that you can get out of debt with sin. What a great gift for this Thanksgiving. I want to invite you to come and join us in the live service, either on Sunday mornings at 9 or at 11 o'clock. Check us out on our webpage at jacksonfbc.com. And as always, it is a joy to come before you today. And may God richly bless you until next time.